We are underway, guys. We are away to watch this final battle here for Triarchy versus YAA. YAA convincingly won their defense here already in Hidden City. Now they go on to attack Triarchy. What has Triarchy got up their sleeve? Can they do something here and defend the guys of YAA? Or are they just going to be done and left the battle just as quickly as they left the last one here? We'll wait to see what happens here in terms of unit choices here. And as you can see, lots of short swords on the attacking side. You've got malls, you've got plenty of pikes here as well at the bottom. Um, Palace Guards, Modal, we've got Iron Reapers, some cataphracts out there, Banner Guards, Pike Militia, even even some grey shields. You've got Domain Spearmen in there as well. Um, on the defense side of things, you've got lots of javelins, lots of lots and lots of javelins. I think their strategy, they're going to try and take out these siege towers by the looks of it. That's what it looks like is going to happen. Show C seems to have only one Iron Reapers, that's all they want. <laughs> But well, we've got a dual blade. We've got plenty of glaive. Again, once again, pole axe is in there. Beowulf is at the bottom there. But this is going to be an interesting matchup to see what happens around here. There's a few bits of cav there as well on the defense, but not not overwhelming. There's not it's not going to be this massive cav spam that we got in the first matchup. Uh, but we'll wait and see. Yo, CC man, I thank you for the the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the clan. One more number, guys. Keep adding these numbers, these follow buttons, guys. 4,000 followers. We're not far away from it, guys. Not far away at all. I'm hoping every single one of you guys that's in here, that's a viewer, has already hit that follow button. If you haven't, go oh, on, be a nice guy, be a nice girl, you know, whatever you, whatever, whatever. Just hit that little, that little follow button, you know. When we click, you know. Turn that we click. Who won the first round? There we go. YAA won the first round. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a look. Reset lobby. Reset lobby, boys. We gotta reset this lobby, boys. I can't even chat to anybody in here. Looks like we're watching it just now until we get clarification about this because that is a uh, use of the runes and uh, people are trying to sneak it in there. I noticed it says they've got the runes on. Got to make sure the javelins are doing their work but they are deep in thought here. It should be a reset lobby. It should be but whether people pay attention to that really quickly I have no idea. They did manage to take the siege, one of the siege towers out here though. And there's a cab and the second siege tower. The javelin's doing some work here on this on the siege towers as you can see. But the far, far top left siege tower did manage to make it up. Cold F goes and gets his picks up a kill here. Wingro is dead. There's a couple of heroes down so far. A couple of tribes being used as well. They've already used three tribes here and Triarchy boys know what they're doing here. I don't know what they what they're doing here, but it's a good strategy. The, the, the amount of jabs that was managed to take out the main siege towers, which is the easiest option is to get to the A point quickly and then start to build mounted attack. Um, but until now, we'll wait and see if it goes to here. Let's see inside here what we got. So we have some pike militia, we have some more javelins. 
plenty of javelins as the breach is about to be knocked out here. Javelins still doing their work. The Hawatch is still up as well. And units are starting to make their way up onto the wall here. But Javelin Sergeant is trying to deal with them heroes. Jones of Arc dies. Plenty of heroes being fought out here. But it's a good it's a good wee treb coming in here though. There's lots of Javelins moving in that position. Will they get them? No, the Javelins stop moving towards that spot. And if they start moving forward now, they might get hit. But they managed to hold it off. Heroes getting hit there a few times. But the boys from YAA are all coming up this far top left siege tower as the other siege tower starting to make their way far right siege tower isn't even moving the one in the center is almost to the point but I think with that many javelins there that will fall here as the trap comes in again on the pike militia that's on top of the wall here just the unit pike militia not a massive difference if these javs can hit these Siege Tower, will they take it down? The Hawatch is still trying to put in some work. The Javelin Sergeants need to do it again, but I think it is. It literally falls just before it gets to the wall there. Polat Race drops off of the wall, and heroes now are dying on both sides here. We are one for one here. It's down to 13 attackers and 13 defenders. Unit wise, though, we're pretty close. The Trebs are all coming in, but they're having to waste a lot of Trebs here. It's a very, very good strategy here from Triarchy. They are doing a fantastic effort in the defense here. Managing to take the siege towers down. Managing to do something different here than everybody is expecting. They're not giving A for free too quickly. They wasted a good amount of time there. They're down to six minutes here. And now it's just units of IPGs and modals and infantry all ready to start trebbing the top of the wall here. And the units to just start whittling down javelin sergeants. As the treb comes in here, the unit of javelins will get hit. Good amount of javelins taken out here, but hero wise and number wise, we're pretty close. Like we're fighting on oh, uh, on A for a bit here. A couple of heroes from Triarchy surviving on the point here. Couple of heroes there defending. There comes a treb as well. Another treb on top of the wall and top of stairs. They're down to seven trebs. You've got a couple of heroes outside here with some infantry, uh, from some calf here, trying to take the infantry that's walking about. The Iron Reapers are getting picked off and. Kampa is going to have to bring his calf to try and stop out Beowulf outside here as A starts to get heroes flooding onto it now. Now a lot more heroes from YAA are trying to make that point and try to grab the point with the unit as well that they have of IPGs. And now they manage to grab the point as Triarchy are still fighting on the stairwell here. They're still trying to put in some effort here, deal with as many people as possible, trying to take out as many players as possible, slow them down. And there's only nine heroes on the defence so they can't get caught out too much here. They can't get his caught out too much here. That's it. Triarchy guys had to back off. Um, show the longbow. Funny enough, is the one that's at the front line here. Was watching, waiting, bringing his unit around as a longbow, trying to deal some damage from distance as you do. They're all making their way around to the right hand siege tab, right siege tower. Uh, supply point here but they're just giving up B like that's maybe a good strategy from Triarchy's side of things they're giving up B completely they're all going all the way back to home so as you can see CB show all just staying here as long as possible just trying to make it look as if they're still around at B area as the both supply points will be taken the units just fighting on that far tab left supply point They'll take B for free here, and they're going to give themselves up to about 10 minutes here to attack the home point. The home point isn't an easy point, but everybody's going to start to slowly move or maneuver their way in to the battle here. And as you can see, unit-wise, we're going to have a look here. You've got plenty of Iron Reapers, loads of cataphracts out just now. There's some... Uh, <coughs> oh my god, Silidars. There we go. That was a big one. My bad. And then we've got some Tertios. Uh, you've got some flamers, got I lots of uh, Fort Abrasio, Iron Reapers, Modals, Lanchnecks, and then there's uh, blue shields, some blue shields in there as well. That'll be to protect your flamers, I assume. As it comes in here, YAA's attack is it's kind of split just now. We've got players going for all the supply points, making sure that everything is capped on their side, and they are ready to melt in the, in the attack here from whatever position they choose. The The main area of the gate, main gateway looks like where they're all clustering up just now. Looking to see what units are protecting what areas. You've got Fort Abrasio on both sides here. 
of the main gate. And then underneath this little bit here, where Crazy Kilby is, there's a unit of Forte Brasho and a shield unit protecting them as well. So definitely paying attention to this side rather than the right side supply point more so. The Forte Brasho there as well, but they are starting to rotate them around a little bit. CB is coming outside the main gate to go and deal some damage with some cow traps and bombs as the main push starts to make their way in. YAA just waiting it out. They pick up Sirius Invictus. He's down. Malicious Invictus. Two of the, two of the strong players from the last round um, have been picked off quite quickly there and they're down to 13 heroes alive. Close on unit wise. It's still pretty similar to each other unit wise, but overall, seven trebs. Opportunities coming, you can see them trying to make their way around the far back entrance here. And units from Triarchy are starting to rotate. So, are they trying to catch them on the rotation here? This is what they might be trying to do here from YAA. They see two sets of Forte Brasho. That set of Forte Brasho starts to move just as the push is incoming, and that is going to be a very disappointing end to your defense there. If you're losing a unit just like that so quickly because the Forte Brasho just happened to move. At the wrong time, and Triarchy is down to 10 heroes alive here. 750 units as well, and the push comes in very strong here. Forte Brasho are trying to fight, but now they're XV in their Forte Brasho as Modal protect the entrance here. Cav is coming from the side of Triarchy. They're going to have to find flanks in here and have to deal with it, but Modal are trying to protect every area here. CB's Cav does get hit by the Modal, and the Modal are stopping that as a Cav charge comes in from the, the YAA guys. Followed up by a Triarchy, uh, Triarchy guys calf charging. But there's more heroes av available here. It's double the amount of heroes on the point here fighting to protect it. But Triarchy are just throwing in Cav, but the Cav are just running straight to death because they're running straight into the Modals. That was a Cav v Cav battle here. Nasa Dar's not going to manage it there. But a couple of heroes staying alive on the point, but we're down to four heroes on the defence here of Triarchy and there's too much calves going on but it's not going to do anything because all the infantry of Modal are stopping the calf when the calf gets anywhere near the point has been held for a little bit but Triarchy boys are going to come in from the back supply point the IPG's marched already so they are free to be able to hit it as the cataphracts start to make their way around from YAA to try and intercept the other ca oncoming calf and they do they intercept it completely run right through as the Fort Abrasio have managed to survive, they're getting in and they're going to be able to block off that main entranceway here as well from the next unit that's coming in. It is ISGs are pretty slow but that is it for Triarchy. Their defence was looking good for a while and eventually, eventually it did get whittled down. They whittled them down strong enough to get the push in but it was a good strategy from Triarchy. I really enjoyed that strategy. They, they using the javelins and uh, all the artillery and doing what they possibly can to take it out the Yeah, so overall, it was it was a pretty good pretty good effort here. The Cephos guys did some work here. He's got John Ark here is in second place here with four hero kills. Kara at the top here again, five hero kills. You've got four hero kills from Zam Zal Zalamefi. Uh, who is Zalamefi? <laughs> um, he's got four hero kills here. 123 unit kills though as well from Kara. So that's a pretty good effort. Um, and then on the defense here. Hero wise difference, there's there's not really much hero kills going off here uh, on the Triarchy side of things. Nico's Blue picks up the three hero kills here. Kion gets the the MVP, sixty six unit kills. But overall, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a massive swing here. There's twenty unit uh, hero kills difference in these battles. Um, but yeah, that's it, it. was an unlucky, an unlucky effort. Triarchy had a good a good strategy, uh, something different as well, and uh, we're not used to it as well. It's something different like that. Um, why we had to find a way to, to deal with to start with eventually found their way they got their push going and then as soon as they got their units in they were just they were they were using their uh, units